So every now and then I get a bright idea and I just have to run with it in order to just get the idea out of my skull. And these drawings right here are the result of my bright idea. So what's my bright idea you might ask? Well, I decided to do a new sketchbook because uh, that's what artists do, we create sketchbooks. And I wanted to give it a theme and I was really trying to figure things out and then I was looking at some of the works of one of my favorite artists, Darwin Cook. God bless the dead, rest in peace. Rest in peace. I was really looking at the works of Darwin Cook and he does this thing where he does these nice black and white ink drawings but then they are highlighted, I guess is a good word, by one singular color. So I wanted to do my version of that uh, using nothing but pens and markers, coping markers to be exact. And the result of that is going to be my new sketchbook, which will be titled Colors. So when I got into work today, I decided that since I had a little bit of free time between projects, between freelance, I would just kind of work on some creator owned stuff. And I figured I might as well get the started I might as well get started <laughs> on colors and just kind of forming that idea out and just seeing what comes out of it. And I got three really interesting drawings, three really interesting stories about these drawings. Let's talk about them. Let's go. Alright guys, so when I started working on my sketchbook today, I didn't quite know exactly how it was going to go. So my whole approach to it was basically just start drawing and figure it out as you're drawing along. But just make sure whatever you draw is some stuff that's going to get you excited and you're going to feel a certain way about it and you're going to really be just, you're really going to dig in and just give it, a, give it your all. And with that approach, I just started drawing the first picture that I pulled up for reference that I really wanted to draw, which was this girl with this, she had these dope braids and it was just a really nice picture. And, and I just really wanted to just take, you know, take a stab at it because of the, the prep pattern of her braids. It was really dope. And I didn't even know what colors I wanted to, to choose at first until as I got kind of in the middle of the drawing and then I just, it just kind of stumbled, it just hit me. I was like, I think this should be blue. So I wanted to try something with some blues and then I was just trying to figure out, well, how am I going to lace the blues onto the, uh, onto the artwork and everything like that. And I, it just built from there. And I think it came off really dope. Um, I think it could have did a little bit better with the lips, but for the most part, it came out dope and I'm really happy with how this one just built itself up into the drawing that it is. So it's gonna make a nice addition to the sketchbook. I think you guys are really gonna love it. All right, y'all, check it out. So this next drawing was a totally different feel from the other drawing, as you could possibly, as you could probably guess, because you're looking at it and you, this is me reminiscing on the drawing afterwards, but that's beside the point. When I stumbled upon the um, reference picture for this drawing, I already knew how just from the picture it made me feel so I already knew how I was going to attack it and as I was drawing and I was getting really getting into the drawing and having fun and being real loose I really kind of felt like yeah this was the way to go so first things first I also switched up the process a little bit uh, the next two drawings I didn't do the inks first I ended up doing the color first and then filling in the inks around the color, which I think worked a lot better. And I think I'm going to continue doing that with the rest of this project just to see how it goes, because I think uh, that really helps me kind of get just a better idea of how the colors really block this out and make this a better work of art. Uh, so with this one, I obviously I chose uh, this golden yellow, orange, yellow, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. It, it. It's a happy, sunny color. So that was the color that I chose. 
the girl was happy. She was doing something kind of fun and, and loose and, and the drawing itself was fun and loose, um, which was really different from the other drawing where I felt I was a little bit, I think because it was my first drawing, I was a little bit tighter and trying to be more precise with this one. I kind of loosened up and just let it fly, so to speak. And I got a really good result and I can't even be mad with the drawing that I got. The drawing came out dope. But that's basically how I came across it. So as I was drawing it, as I was feeling it, I already knew it had to be a bright color. And that golden yellow really kind of hit the spot, hit all the, hit every, hit all the keys, the needs that I had. So that's how that, that's how this drawing came about. All right, guys. So for the last drawing, I wanted to do something different from the other drawings. The other drawings I'd done were headshots, basically busts. And those were cool, but I wanted to do something a little bit more, kind of up the ante a little bit. And I'll be doing that throughout the month anyway with this project. And for this this next drawing, I decided to do a sword and sorcery fantasy type setup. And uh, I just wanted to have some fun. So I um, was just thinking about some cool things that I could do. I just, and I decided to do a barbarian lady uh, with a nice sword and under threat by monsters because that's what you do when you do sword and sorcery fantasy type drawings and as I was drawing it I still wasn't exactly sure which color I was going to use but when I looked at it once it was kind of almost finished I uh, immediately knew gotta use red so that's what I did use red for the clothes and the background and the clouds and it came out dope can't even be <laughs> upset with it and I was really happy with uh, with just the whole feel and just everything that came with it so once again I'm really feeling this idea for the sketchbook and I can't wait to see it come to fruition all right guys I hope you enjoyed the video and just to let you know the inspiration for what I'm doing that focus back in there the inspiration for what I'm doing is I definitely want to put more product out into the market and I thought this would be a really cool project to, to launch that effort with. This video just kind of documenting the whole process and hopefully uh, you guys will be inspired by it and create your own sketchbooks and put them out in the market using Etsy, Gumroad, KDP Direct, whoever. Um, and with all of that said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, please go ahead and hit the like button, hit that thumbs up, and uh, go ahead and share this all over the internet. If you guys are new here, I'd just like to say, what's up? Welcome to the planet, the, the planet. Welcome to the channel. And I hope you guys uh, like it so much that you hit the subscribe button and come back for more and more and more. Now also, new subscribers, old subscribers, make sure you guys are hitting the bell icon. That's gonna let you know when I put up a new video so you don't have to worry about the YouTube algorithm. If you guys wanna get in touch with me, you can always reach me on Twitter and Instagram at DKG72. And if, and, <laughs> God almighty, I'm messing up. I also have a Facebook fan page and a TikTok that's David Gordon 72 um, if you guys really do like what you're seeing on the channel and you'd like to support, there's a link to my Patreon. It's in the description below. Love to get more Patreon subscribers. And um, I think that's very important. Also, the Foresight Podcast. If you guys aren't don't know, I've launched a podcast. And it's fun. It's great. Uh, it's available on Spotify, on Google Podcasts, on uh, Anchor. Uh, so it's all over the place. So please go check that out and hopefully we'll be uploading videos video versions of the podcast very soon um, I think that's pretty much it. So guys uh, once again, hope you guys are Having a good time this this is going to come out on Labor Day. So happy Labor Day and uh, When the new sketchbook is done, I'll let you guys know it's your boy DKG 72 and I'm out peace